So this building is a workhouse built in the 1800s. It was the solution to poverty in that time. It fell into dereliction at some point, having been a hospital from a workhouse to a hospital with old people who were too institutionalised to go back into the local community. And then it fell into dereliction and was bought by a couple who turned it into an outdoor centre. And I was married here in 1985. I also was employed as an outdoor instructor here. And then that again went into receivership and the place fell into even more dereliction. All the glass was broken in the windows and we decided as a community that we needed to come back in and do something about that. So one of the ideas was to make it into an antique centre, but that didn't seem to be very community focused. So we offered to put on a, a festival, a music festival, and the music festival grew 2004, five, six, 2007, 8,000 people came and we, we made 40,000 which we donated to the building preservation. The building has historic importance for the nation, but it's been saved by a small group of people who have worked for years just trying to keep the integrity of the building and to slowly improve it. A lot of the work that was done after the festivals was done by people who had a great interest in, in the place, who loved it, who met people here, who formed relationships here, who had stages for their young teenagers to perform on, bands were formed, local artists had a place to display their artworks and the place took off on the back of the enthusiasm of lots of people who came to events here. It's gone into a little bit of a, a quiet period and coronavirus hasn't helped and we're now coming back in as a community to try and create somewhere where uh, our, our young people can perform again. Um, a stage, uh, a place for art, a place to connect to other people. And, and over the next few years, we'd really like to push it forward alongside it being an, a place of national importance to focus back on the community. So I'm opening a cafe once a week. It's a pop-up cafe. And I've got people coming down to eat together, sit around a table. People who otherwise would go home and eat on their own, so. I work as a volunteer even though I'm a trustee, I'm happy not to be paid because the place needs to make a little bit of money and we've put in some play equipment and we want people to enjoy themselves when they come here. So our little pop-up cafe is open on a Thursday between 12 and 2 and um, we just I, I cook as many different things as I can. I try to do the 30 a week diet in one day. So you're going to get a range of foods, seeds, herbs, spices in one meal. And the idea is that this is for some people, it will be the most diverse bit of nutrition that they will get. So that's my idea. And I'm going to do that into the autumn and then maybe through the winter, if we can get a good burner in there and keep it warm, we'll open on a Sunday instead and, and we'll have it as a performance place as well so that you can come and have a bit of entertainment, some company. It'll be a Sunday afternoon, it'll be from 12 till about 4 or 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm.